Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to effectively farm experience, what the most efficient ways to go about doing this are. Um, before I get started, if anybody's wondering how I'm playing this game on PC, there's a link in my description to download Bluestacks. That's how I'm playing these mobile games on PC. So uh, that's, that's what you can do if you wanna play it on PC as well. Now, before I get into the actual mechanics of farming, what I want you to do, if you're brand new, is go into your quest tab, go into your fight tab. Then go into your quick level tab. In here, it's gonna start you here and then here. You wanna follow these quests. Beating this one is gonna give you a good set of runes to put on your farmer, which is probably going to be Angel of Death. The second mission is going to give you a two day, I'm sorry, a one day two XP boost. This is gonna double the amount of experience that you get for every run that you do. This is crucial. You don't really ever want to farm experience. You don't ever want to be trying to level up heroes or, or anything like that without an XP boost, okay? It is, it is literally twice as efficient, okay? Don't, don't ever be farming heroes experience without one of these, okay? If you want to get one before you're capable of beating these missions, you can go into the shop and go down to special and you've got them here. You've got a one day for 100 gems or a three day for 200 gems. Of course, I would recommend the three day, but you do whatever you feel comfortable with. But if you don't even think about if it's worth, nice. <laughs> that threw me off. Don't worry about the gems. It is well worth the gems. It is, so, it is so much more worth the gems to have an XP boost than to not have one, okay? And the way that you can see if you have one active is over here in these icons that'll be down here at the bottom. You just scroll down and see if it's there. Also note, when you buy one from the shop, it's gonna go here first. So you have to buy it and then come here and activate it. I still do this. Five years of playing this, these games, I will still go to the shop, buy it, and assume it's active. <laughs> uh, we all do it. You're probably still gonna do it even though I'm mentioning it. I'm aware of it and I still do it. So buy it from the shop, go to your inbox, activate it, Make sure it's active and then start farming, okay? Now, as far as how to farm your experience, when you're new to the game, you're gonna be pushing your way through the campaign, okay? You're gonna be going through one-starring everything. You're gonna to get to a point where you can't get any further and you're gonna wonder what to do. Now, I cover this in my beginner guide. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up to it now. Um, so either pause this and go check that out or tab it up and check it out after this video. But um, it, it, it's gonna help you out if you're really new to these types of games. But basically you're gonna hit a point where you can't go any further. All you're gonna do is drop back and beat everything on hard and start two star and everything and get up to as far as you can in the two star. Then push the one stars up, then push the two stars up and then drop back and start three star. And, and you'll just kind of stagger your way through the campaign until you hit a point where you've, you've kind of walled off every single point of progression. And then, then that's kind of a good time to know that you're gonna wanna kind of stop and farm. By that time, you should be on Blackpool Hills. This is the place to be in this game. This is where you wanna be farming your experience, okay? Whether you have to do it on normal, hard, or hill, you do whatever you can do, but this is the place to be. And you're gonna come in and we'll just use Angel of Death as the example. So, you're gonna set her as your leader. She's got the crit rate, it's gonna help her out a little bit. And then you're going to run Probably earlier on, you're gonna be running heroes that you wanna build. This way you're gonna have a pretty strong team. It's gonna be more likely to, to survive and get through the runs than if you just try to run her with pure food, right? The pure one, one and two stars and, and the, the pure fodder. If you're running her with units that you're in the middle of building, they're gonna have a lot better chance of clearing it and everybody's gonna benefit for it, okay? Now understand, it doesn't matter what level you farm. One through six is going to drop the same experience for you. Each stage of the campaign, right? Each level of the campaign gives you a set amount of experience based on what difficulty you're on. Seven is gonna be different because it's a boss stage. It's gonna give you significantly less experience, but the rune quality is a little bit better in these, in these boss stages. It is still usually worth it, especially if you're running a double XP boost, especially if you're farming experience, it's it's worth it to farm one through six. Pick one and farm it. If you're, if you're looking for a specific rune, farm that stage, but generally I just do one, okay? So just understand you're getting a set amount of experience. 
what it's going to do is divide that experience between however many people you have in your party. So you're usually going to be running your farmer and then four others, okay? Even if your farmer's maxed out, even if your farmer can't re actually receive the experience, it's still going to try to give them the experience, right? They're still going to absorb their portion of the experience. So if I just run Angel of Death, she's going to get the whole chunk of experience for the whole stage. If I run Angel of Death and, you know, this dude, they're going to split it 50-50. If I run three, they're going to split it three ways, okay? It is, a, it is a sum total of experience split among your party members, whether they're max level or not. They're going to absorb their share of it, okay? So if I run four max level heroes and one who can get experience, they're still only going to get one-fifth of it, okay? Now, this is where reps come into play. These, these are all your friends down here. These are friends, heroes that you can use. You want to look for people who have reps like this, like like my, like Heartless Halo, Eklan, the, the Popo can probably do it. You want to find people that have Lich King. You're looking for the Lich Kings, the Angel of Deaths, the Spider Queens. You're looking for the heroes that are notorious for being able to farm well, right? Because what happens when you use a rep is they don't absorb the experience. They don't count as someone from your hero box. So if you run a rep hero and, and four of your own, then the four of your own are going to split 100% of the XP, right? It's not going to allot any for the rep. So rep farming is a really good way to boost the amount of experience you're getting. So, and this is particularly important for my raid players, for my, for my guys coming over from raid, because we don't have this <laughs> in, in raid. We didn't have a friend list. We didn't have rep champs. We didn't have any of this. Summoners War people probably are familiar with this, um, but coming over from raid, this is all new to you. So this is worth mentioning because I think this is easily overlooked. So understand, running with a rep, running with one of your friend's heroes is the way to go. If you can do every one of your runs, like I could go through my whole friend list right here, if every one of my people had a strong rep that could farm, I, I would rarely use my own farmer, right? I, I, would, I would let my rep heroes take care of it because that's 20% that's that's of the experience that I would be missing out on now getting dispersed among my four who I'm actually trying to level up, right? So that's a very important thing to do. And as you get stronger and you get able to do it when you're using your own hero, you'll be able to worry less and less about the team that's with her. For, like, you know, when I was new and I was running my Angel of Death, I was running other heroes that I wanted to build. I was running some of these Nat 5s I pulled and, and they were getting through it fine. And then slowly over time, I would, I would kind of work them out and start to work straight on the leveling up the food, the one and two stars for Ascension so that I could start building up the heroes that I wanted to build up. But um, it, it'll just take some trial and error. You'll find out if they're capable of it or not. If they're not, power up the runes. Powering it up doesn't do it, find some better runes. You know, hop in the lower levels of the dungeon, find what stage of the campaign drops what rune it is you're looking for. You know, it, 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 it's a trial and error thing, but that's the way that you do it. Blackpool Hills is the place to do it. You find one of your heroes that can do it. And again, that's Angel of Death. She is, she is very much capable of it. I've got a guide. I actually put up a guide on her yesterday. So if you haven't seen that, I'll card to that as well right here. Go check that one out too. She's very capable of it. She's very good. If you've been fortunate enough to pull a Lich King or a Spider Queen, they can do it very easily, very well. I've heard people farming with Medusa. I'm sure Popo can do it. There, there are a few heroes in this game that can do it, but the, the kind of cream of the crop is Lich King and Spider Queen. So if you've pulled them, congratulations. Uh, get them built up on a damage set and let them go to work. They, they go pretty ham. But again, Angel of Death is fully capable of doing this, so... That's the process. That's how you do it. Blackpool Hills, one through six, doesn't matter. It's the same experience. Run it with your farmer or run it with your with your friend's reps if possible. Find people who have the Lich Kings and the Spider Queens and the Strong Angels of Deaths and, uh, and, and let them run. That's more experience for your food and whoever it is you're trying to build, okay? So that's pretty much the gist of it. The, the takeaways are don't ever do it without a double XP boost. Go into your quest tab. Go into your fight tab, go into your quick level, 
get that second mission done, get your XP boost, and then start leveling people up, okay? Uh, if, if you don't have one, if you can't complete this yet and you're ready to start leveling up your heroes, go to the shop and buy one. It is, it is worth it, I promise you. Don't ever try to level up food <laughs> without an XP boost. It is going to drive you nuts at how slow it is. So always have an XP boost, use your farmer, use your reps, and that's the gist of it. That's pretty much how you farm XP. You just keep doing that over and over and, and build your heroes up. So hopefully I covered everything. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Head over to twitch.tv slash jgigs. Uh, I'm live 6 p.m. most weeknights. You can catch us there, a pretty helpful group of people. Link to my Discord is in the description if you wanna hop in there and ask us some questions about how to build someone or, or anything you don't understand. We are always happy to help and we love seeing new faces around. So, and again, if you're wondering how I'm playing on PC, link in the description for that too i appreciate you guys watching if you got some out of this like subscribe helps me out a lot and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow